The situation in the Phlegraean fields is becoming increasingly serious. The latest measurements show that the situation is worsening faster than expected and that the ground uplift is accelerating. Is this a sign that a volcanic eruption is becoming more likely? What does this mean for the people in Naples and Pozzuoli? We're taking a close look at the latest developments, so make sure to stay tuned until the end. A warm welcome to you all. I was there myself last year at the Phlegraean fields and spoke to volcanologists there, and at that time, it actually looked as if the ground uplift known as Bradyseism was slowing down. That is now completely different. By the way, please feel free to write in the comments if any of you have ever been there, or even just to Naples or Vesuvius. I would be very interested to hear about it. And if you don't want to miss anything about the developments at Campi Phlegrae in the future, then please subscribe to the channel now. Subscribing is free. You'll never miss a new video again, and you're helping me a lot. If you've already subscribed, a thumbs up would be a great help to the video. Maybe we'll even reach 5,000 likes. Grazie mille, ragazzi. Yes, something is happening at the Campi Flegre west of Naples that is putting scientists worldwide on alert. The latest measurements from the Italian Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology, INGV, show something disturbing. The ground uplift has accelerated even more than initially assumed. Instead of the originally calculated 20 millimeters per month, the ground is now rising by a whopping 25 millimeters, two and a half centimeters every single month. Two and a half centimeters every single month. At first, that doesn't sound like much, but geologically speaking, that's already significant. Just imagine if your house were to rise that distance every month. After a year, that would be 30 centimeters. After 10 years, 3 meters. And that's exactly what's been happening there for years. The city of Pozzoli, which lies directly above the caldera system, has already risen by 1.3 meters since 2011. Here in Pozzoli, I spoke with volcanologist Fabio Sansevero from the INGV, who explained a few things about Bradicism to me. This is a Roman market. And when the Romans built it, the land mass was at a higher level. You can clearly see that the floor of the complex is now lower. We can say with certainty that the sea level has changed repeatedly over the millennia. At times, this place was above water, at times below. There are three columns back there, and some of them have holes in them. The holes are caused by marine organisms, known as lithotomies, which inhabit parts of the column. Using these holes and special analyses and radiocarbon dating, we were able to reconstruct a curve of sea level fluctuations and clearly see how the Earth repeatedly rose and fell. Shortly before the last eruption of the Phlegraean Fields in 1538, the temple rose again and then sank again. What makes the Campi Phlegrae special is this phenomenon known as Bradycism a slow rising and sinking of the ground over the course of decades. Since 2011, the caldera has been in a phase of intense uplift, accompanied by increasing seismic activity. Between November 3rd and 9th, 1,650 earthquakes were recorded, the strongest of which reached a magnitude of 2.5. Scientists have determined that based on corrected satellite data, the ground uplift is occurring even faster than previously thought. The NGV had to revise its calculations upwards after the GNSS correction values for the satellite orbits became available. If the ground continues to rise at this accelerated rate while seismic activity temporarily subsides, there is an increased risk of moderate to strong earthquakes with magnitudes of 4 or higher. Why is that? It's quite simple. The accelerated uplift of the ground causes greater stresses to build up in the rock. Normally, these tensions are gradually released by many small earthquakes, like a pressure cooker that repeatedly releases a little pressure. But when these small quakes fail to occur while the pressure continues to build, it is like a pressure cooker whose valve is clogged. At some point, all the pent-up energy has to be released at once, which could lead to significantly stronger quakes. The geochemical data is also worrying. It confirms a long-term trend of warming in the hydrothermal system and increased gas emissions. In the Picciarelli area on the northeastern outer slope of Solfatara, fumarole emissions, which are essentially steam emissions from the volcanic system, reached an average of 94 degrees Celsius last week. After rainfall, the temperature dropped to 91 degrees. But according to INGV, increased activity and temperature can still be observed here. The situation is even more dramatic in the crater area of Solfatara itself. There, average temperatures of 166 degrees were measured at the main fumarole with peak values of 170 degrees. This sustained rise in temperature correlates with increasing diffuse gas flows in the calculated equilibrium temperatures of the hydrothermal system. 
and we have even more volcanic news. A brand new study published in the renowned journal Nature Communications has finally explained why most earthquakes in the Campi Flegre, despite the tense situation, are relatively weak. Researchers from the universities of Naples, Padua, and Vienna analyzed 56 seismic events between 2020 and 2025 and made an exciting discovery. The scientists found that less than 10% of the energy released is emitted as seismic waves. The rest is dissipated or practically swallowed up by friction and inelastic processes in the surrounding rock layers. The study states, the measured low seismic radiation efficiency with a median value of 0.1 indicates that only a small fraction of the stress drop is radiated as seismic waves. On the one hand, this is good news because it explains why we have not seen any catastrophic earthquakes so far. The researchers go on to write, this mechanism could limit the extent of fractures and restrict the maximum strength of earthquakes in this area. However, they do not rule out the possibility of earthquakes with magnitudes of up to five occurring in the future. Due to their special composition, the rocks of the caldera are able to absorb a large part of the energy. Most earthquakes occur at depths between two and four kilometers, precisely where fragile rocks interspersed with fluids are found. And this combination leads to most of the energy being dissipated as heat and through rock fracturing instead of propagating as a seismic wave. Interestingly, the study also shows that the rupture velocities in the Campi Flegre earthquakes are unusually slow, between 0.4 and 0.9 of the shear wave velocity. This means that the cracks spread through the rock at a relatively leisurely pace, which in turn contributes to the relatively low magnitudes. The researchers also found an inverse relationship between fracture velocity and stress drop, meaning that the higher the stress drop in the rock, the slower the fracture propagation. This is counterintuitive, but it is due to the intense damage to the rock in the fault zones, which absorbs energy and slows down crack propagation. It's all very technical, I know, but it's super important research for better assessing the danger on site. But the big question everyone is asking, of course, is, is an eruption imminent? The honest answer is, no one knows for sure. The pressurization and heating of the volcanic system are definitely continuing. The acceleration of ground uplift, accompanied by intense seismic activity, High gas emissions and rising gas temperatures are all alarming signs, but volcanoes are unpredictable. It could take decades for something to happen, or the current Brady seismic crisis could gradually subside and the whole thing could end without an eruption. The last major eruption of Campi Flegre in 1538 came after about 4,000 years of dormancy. If this rhythm were to continue, then we would not be due for another eruption yet. The eruption of 1538 created a 170 meter high volcanic cone on Monte Nuovo in just a few days. If a similar or even larger eruption were to occur, the consequences for the densely populated region around Naples would be catastrophic. We are talking about potentially several million people being affected, and even if this is only the absolute worst case scenario, which is not very likely, it shows that research at Campi Flegre is not only scientifically exciting, but also of enormous practical importance. Every new detail that researchers discover about the mechanisms beneath the volcano can save lives in an emergency. And the fact that we can now measure ground uplift with millimeter precision and understand the processes underground better and better is an enormous advance over previous times. And that's why I'll definitely keep you updated as soon as there are new exciting studies and discoveries about the volcano system. So make sure to subscribe to the channel now and don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And speaking of exciting scientific findings, I had the opportunity to talk to a true celebrity in the scientific community, Professor Avi Loeb from the University of California, Berkeley. He is known for his extraterrestrial explanations for interstellar objects such as 3i Atlas and Oumuamua. The conversation turned out to be really interesting, so feel free to check it out by clicking on the video in the top right corner. And as always, you'll find another topic related to science and space in the bottom right corner. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.